Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal. <laughs> Hello. No, no. Oh, great start. Today, because we got, look at that, we got that fancy ball and chain right here looking pretty good. Uh, oh, wait, this sword is red. Is it strong now? Well, unfortunately for it, we also got this. <laughs> I don't know when that went red. Anyway, so today we are doing Hell Temple. Uh, we're gonna be doing it today because, like, apparently it's pretty easy to break. It's kind of loosey-goosey. Things can go wrong and, like, destroy. So as soon as I uh, teleport outside, I'm just gonna go ahead and, like, save here so that at any point it can return here and start over when I run out. So you'll remember that I got the hint. So, okay, so first of all, I'm going to be open with this straight up. In front of me, I had a guide to open Hell Temple. I haven't looked at it really yet. It's just there if I ever get stuck. Because I have been told many times that it is very oblique. Like, the kind of things you have to do are pretty silly and not super clear. Like I said, there are non-zero chances for a thing to break. But anyways... Remember how Malbrock said that, you know, well, Malbrock's dad said to come there need to be night, and then Malbrock talked about a decorative statue? Yeah, the ancient people did not make a statue of Zelpud. That'd be ridiculous. So you gotta sleep in front of it. Now, a person has told me there are two things you absolutely must do. I just want to check if, oh yeah, Zelput is there, like, everyone's asleep. Oh, you can, he's got his cream on! <laughs> Seek the fairy at a depth of the bones that gaze upon birth. Seek the fairy... At a depth of the bones that gaze upon birth. I don't know what that means. No, it's good. I got your thing. So you can travel everywhere, but like it's the deep darkness of night. But see, I would be tempted to just kind of go after that. But I was told that there is at least two things to do. So let's sneak around outside. I don't know what's that, like, sharp sound that has replaced the music. I don't like it one bit, but it's there. No! This is pretty fun to hop around with when there's no snakes and giant birds attacking you at all times. Alright, Argus still bad. Do you get the triple feather? No. That's a thing I just made up. <laughs> Destroying the world at the sound of peace and quiet. Leaving red trail everywhere. So you can still, like, this door is not locked. Implying that you can still go inside uh, the temple itself. During the night zone. Going through walls. Because, of course, you just go through- Hey! I don't get it! <laughs> Goes you to the shop of no entry. Please take one of my people with you to the shop of no entry. The shop of no- a shop that I couldn't enter. I, I, I feel like I should... Well, take one of my people. So I need to bring a fairy to a shop of no entry. Like, you can just, like... Oh, I can't enter here, actually. I'm pressing up and nothing is happening. Uh, can I teleport somewhere else? Like, if I go here? Yeah, music is happening and everything. And if I teleport back outside? It's day again. Did I break it? Like, was that enough to break it? Uh, this is very hard to tell. 
<laughs> I'm assuming I want a key fairy, which I know is uh, the counterclockwise square two star pattern. Yeah, you are the key fairy. No, you're the key fairy. Ugh, that's bad, because now I have to wait for her to... Unless it can be anyone. Well, let's roam around the world, I guess. Well, might as well explain what I think is the... What they mean by shop. Um... That you can't get to. Because if you go here and just screw it up and just be in great pain for a while, there's a door here that um, I almost forgot about. But there's a door here that you just cannot access. Man, it's been a while since I've been here. I, I kind of forgot how things were set up. Before I went in the right direction. Well, I guess he's gonna cost me a weight here. It's not the end of the world, but... Shut up. Up there, see? But yeah, I get the feeling like it needs to be like the key fairy, because she's the one that be unlocking things. Well, you get there again, you do that, and then you are... Up, basically. Why weren't you attacking? I'm gonna go there with the fairy in case just about any fairy will do, but I got the feeling that that's not the case. In the no. It needs to be a key fairy. But there's a shop. Like, yeah, that's just been there all the time. Not doing anything. Honestly, I feel like just reload. Like, what I need to do isn't that complicated, so I think I will just reload. Like, because, like, what I have to do is not that complicated up to now. And it can take a while for Fairy to decide to, like, be... That might be it? Yeah! There we go. So, very similar, but very distinct. Alright, I hope I have enough time to get there in the amount of time that the Key Fairy exists. Uh, shouldn't be a problem if I don't, like, miss up anywhere major. You can get bought by that, so that helps. Boy, Snigo. I'm on a mission to bring this key somewhere. <laughs> what an incredible mission. Alright, let's hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So I guess the thing about where C birth, birth C is... I don't, I don't know video games. Video games are too hard. Alright, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I don't know if I have a time limit, but that feels like a hell temple-y thing to do. Look at that sweet door there, Key Fairy. Isn't that weird? This door is now upside up! I did it! I beat the game. Hi! You're buried multiple places? How does that work? Back in time you go, gate of time assuming, can do that, a new path should open. I don't see the treasure. Alright. So, I mean, yeah, like, to me that seems pretty obvious. Doodle around in the time span zone, in the gate of time. And there's a new path somewhere. Don't be seen. I don't know if it's okay for monsters to be aware of me. Maybe they mean like, don't speak to Zelpa. Don't speak to Lady Mulbrook. The implication is somewhere, somehow, somewhere, there's gonna be a new path. You gotta find that new path. Are you a new path? No, you're a weird booger monster. Now I gotta wait for the bus. That's me, that is what I do. I wonder. Oh, that's silly. So you can't go in the normal path, but you can go where the Hell Temple is. Alright, 
Uh, am I looking for a door here then? Oh, okay. Unmarked door. Hi. Hi, Draquette. Jump into the huge casket. Okay, so that one I know by accident. Nah, it's good. Because the hint I got uh, features screenshots. And I saw Pelinque's big empty room. So you gotta go and jump into Pelinque's big empty hole he left. That wouldn't make a sense. It's a huge casket. So, fire and go from there. I mean, yeah, no, like, this this whole thing is not gone. I mean, what have I thought of that had I not seen that? Like, honestly, I cannot answer that. But I feel like it wouldn't be my immediate thought. So it goes. Go away, I'll slime thing. Whoa! I drove a wedge! I can't read it. Can't read that wedge. That's how it looks like on the other side. By the way, to address this finally. See that empty chest? Turns out that's where the angel is hiding. If you get a car accident while fighting pulling play. See, there, there's this thing too. So go into a big coffin. You just get warped. I remember this from the original. Like, in the original, you need to go down, like, 20 layers, and, like, there's a breakable wall at some point. I remember this very distinctly from the original. It's such a dumb puzzle. But it sounds exactly like the kind I think I do the ring, like, when I was doing What the Hell or something. I think it's 20 screens, something like that. But, look, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna tap that button. It's fine. I have not been paying attention at all to the amount of rooms I've been going down. So I hope we get the trademark little like sound effect slash scuff effect because uh, otherwise we might be in trouble. I don't know if this goes like internet or something. But, I mean, worst case, I can teleport out heal, and like the healing of the giant, make sure I don't speak to anyone, and uh, come back, and like actually count. I have no idea how many has passed yet. Just tapping that button until the end of forever. Yup. <laughs> oh! So there's no dust effect, but there is a sound effect. I'm glad I wasn't speaking. So this explains this door. What are you doing here, this door that's been teasing me since this existed? The gate I am at has been opened. So that's it? That's all you need to do? Can I be seen treasures that should not exist? Only those with the strength to make it this far should witness it. I had the gate, but there is no gate to see because it was me all along. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, this is you all along. You're so proud. The gate that the hell has opened. Alright, let's go to the cemetery of Snaggle Rock. Uh, to heal. And, uh... There's no real easy way to get there, huh? I just... I'm, I'm, I don't know why. I'm paranoid about the idea of returning to the surface. But I think if the gate is open, then it's open for good? Look, I'm not gonna chance it, like, right now. Please give me this. It's fine. We're gonna take our time, gonna enjoy our trip there. Because basically I want to check if the door has been opened, get in there, and that's gonna be it for today. So, opening the gate isn't, like, hard. It's just that it's hidden behind a veneer of complete nonsense. Which, you know, fair enough. Oh, I wonder if, uh, I have enough things. Like, I bet that there's gonna be puzzles requiring things and things. So after healing, I might want to go to the discount shop and just fill up on, like, flares and bombs. 
drums. Sounds like it would be a good idea. Anyway, the healing spa I'm thinking of is over here. Wow, you sure did it, Mr. Kame. Shot your turtle wave at me. Yeah, right here is water. Oh wow, you can actually destroy these quickly. Now. I don't know how I feel about that. Don't worry, just fine. Oh wow, I bought my full. Really? Oh, I guess 30 is a max. Huh. I remember this shot being. What hurt me? I mean, I get hurt so little that it doesn't really matter, but. Alright, see, I was looking for. I guess the only place to get flares is good old flare shop here. Hey, buddy, I'm going to hell. Can you sell me flares? <laughs> Alright, hey, let's just buy a bunch. Let's buy a bunch. Sold out. You know what? Wait's probably a good idea. Now I'm full. Here we go. Spent all my money. That's all you need to do, really, in life. Gate of Guidance. This is today's official end of the session save. But just to make sure... I mean, I saw the achievement, right? But yeah, just climb up here where all the skeletons are at. And you go where there's no skeletons. And welcome to hell! This is it! Hell Temple, place that no one... that one ought not enter. <laughs> wow! So, uh, yeah! Ooh, this is some really nice wall. So, uh, this is where we're going. We got some skele friends, skele fun. And we got the hell square up there. Next time, I mean, hey! It's hell.